Named after former president and Nobel Peace Prize winner Nelson Khulishasa Mandela, Nelson Mandela Bay is a foothold to the African continent, offering easy access to vital and reliable logistical solutions such as transport networks via sea, road, and air. The bay is a low-cost, secure, and connected platform into the region, Africa, and the world. Lying midway between Cape Town and Durban, Nelson Mandela Bay is home to several multinational companies and the biggest SEZ in Sub-Saharan Africa, the Kuha SEZ, offering investors world-class infrastructure and access to two ports, including the deep water port of Nuha. With warm, dry summers and mild winter temperatures, the bay boasts unspoiled beaches, offering smart living, work and play, with several key sectors well positioned for investment. These are the automotive, agro-processing, light manufacturing, oceans economy, tourism, and services sectors. With world-class infrastructure and business support services, Nelson Mandela Bay is primed for investment, offering incentives such as grants and tax breaks through the Department of Trade and Industry. Some of the advantages of investing in Nelson Mandela Bay is that you've got strong logistic links with major freeways connecting major South African cities with the Nelson Mandela Bay. You've got two ports within Nelson Mandela Bay. You also have Kuka Industrial Development Zone. There are also tax benefits and incentives that come within the Special Economic Zone. You can also then uh, get a one-stop shop of services from CDC as well. The Bay is undoubtedly the motor manufacturing mecca of Africa and home to a vibrant and ever-growing industry which provides the basis of the region's manufacturing capacity. Nelson Mandela Bay without a doubt is one of the main automotive hubs within South Africa. So you've got quite a number of component suppliers with the close proximity of the original equipment manufacturers providing strong manufacturing and engineering support to the major OEMs. The auto capital of South Africa with 35% of the country's automotive components located here, the Bay is said to become the leading auto manufacturing base in the African continent. The Eastern Cape is a global leader in the production of high-quality merino wool and mohair fibers, with dairy and food processing making up three primary active agro-processing industries in the province. The renewable energy sector is one of the fast-growing sectors in the province with exceptional wind and solar conditions. Poised to leverage the opportunities presented by the vast ocean resources available, the ocean's economy sector brings diversification to the region's economy. Manufacturing subsectors have a strong presence and potential for further growth within the Nelson Mandela Bay area, with key products including auto and medical fabric, upholstery, clothing, matting, and carpenting. Plastics and pharmaceuticals are the key chemical industries in the province. The Bay is home to one of the largest generics manufacturers in the Southern Hemisphere. Africa and South Africa in particular have a very attractive and interesting market. Nelson Mandela Bay has the necessary infrastructures and also the qualified human resources for the pharmaceutical industry to strive. Today, Frizzini Uskabi is investing 15 million euros locally in the plan. With this investment, we will be enabling the supply not only of the local market, but also Africa and the rest of the world. The tourism industry has been enjoying a steady growth of about 10% yearly with key attractions including wildlife and outdoor, cultural, historical, adventure and sport-related activities. The Guha SEZ and the port of Nuha position the bay as the strategic trade link to both East and Western markets. As the only region in Africa to be served by two ports, Nelson Mandela Bay offers investors strategic export and manufacturing platforms. We have two commercially active ports in the region, 
The long-term vision of the Port of PE and Nuha is to position the Port of PE into an automotive hub for Sub-Saharan Africa. This will be complemented by its twin port, the Port of Kuha, being positioned as the deep water container transshipment hub for Sub-Saharan Africa as well. The untapped freshness, grime-free urban environment, cost-effective locations, all in close proximity to each other, and ideal climate make the bay an attractive location for the global film industry. The BPO Park in the Kuha SEZ is currently home to the Discovery Health Call Centre and global company WNS. In the last 15 years, a lot of things have changed. With Kuha coming into the Nelson Mandela Bay, we came into Kuha as an investor. We've got an operation of about 500 plus people downstairs for our South African based client. We are the biggest BPO in Kuha at this time, and I dare to say in the Nelson Mandela Bay Metro. The Nelson Mandela Bay offers investment opportunities that we say are smart investment opportunities with a smart returns for investors. These opportunities cut across specific sectors that we have strategically identified. These sectors are automotives, oceans economy, agro-processing, renewable energy, tourism, including but not least the BPO sector. The municipality has really been hard at work and through its effort, it has seen a drastic decline in the amount of time it takes for investors to get electricity connection, to get also construction permits and including the registration of their businesses and their properties. Get access to a low-cost, secure and connected platform into the region, Africa and the world. Invest in Nelson Mandela Bay. Smart investment for smart returns. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Exporter of the Year Awards for 2021. My name is Gareth Burley. It's good to be back with you again this year in these very unusual days that we are living in. I well, thank you for taking the time to join us, whether you're in a boardroom or your home. Kick back, relax, enjoy the company as we celebrate the good that is in the Eastern Cape. Tonight is a moment of inspiration, a time of hope, a time of dreams coming true. And I hope that you are inspired to keep dreaming, to keep believing, and to keep contributing to this beautiful province that we are living in. So, welcome. Throughout the evening, there will be interaction. We don't want you just to sit there. We want you to interact with us. And we'll be able to show you that in a few ways. But the hashtag, the social media handle for this evening 
is exporters EC2021. That's the social media handle wherever you are posting on. I'd like to welcome some very special guests here this evening joining us online. A special welcome to Councillor Siasanga Sijadu, the MMC of Economic Development, Tourism and Agriculture for the Nelson Mandela Bay Municipality. Rene Mutalal, the CEO of NARCAM. Michael Mabusa, CEO of NAMSA. Tabu Sengkana, the CEO of AIDC Eastern Cape. Denise Van Hastien, the CEO of the Nelson Mandela Bay Business Chamber. Lizelle Maurice, the CEO of the Border Kai Chamber of Commerce. And Paul Jonas, Director of Trade and Investment at the Nelson Mandela Bay Municipality. Vuyokazi Zozi, the Regional Manager of ECDC. Pakamisa George, the Senior Manager of Export Promotion at ECDC. Captain Faisal Sultan, the Chairperson of the Nelson Mandela Bay Maritime Cluster. And then Wendy Lester, a very special guest who we'll find out a little bit more about in a moment. And then I'd also like to welcome the media who've joined us and of course all the members of the Exporters Eastern Cape. Welcome everybody. Now of course we don't have any of our winners with us this evening um, and so on Monday after this event we will be contacting all of our winners. We'll be doing live interviews and of course photos will be taken with you and your amazing teams with the trophies and certificates that we'll be handing out. So that's going to take place on Monday. The team will be in contact. Now, we want you to participate. We want you to get involved, not only on the social media platforms, but with the WhatsApp group. And on the screen, you will see a QR code appear. That's going to be there on and off throughout the evening. And it's to show you and give you access to the WhatsApp group. This is to participate in the competitions and of course, also to um, stand a chance to win some wonderful prizes. So look out for that QR code, get your phone out, scan the code, and that'll give you access to the WhatsApp group. And we've got three competitions this evening I want to tell you about. First up, a lucky draw prize for someone who shares videos, photographs, and tags the Exporters Eastern Cape Facebook page. And of course, use the hashtag ExportersEC2021. So a special prize for that. Then, throughout the evening, we're going to ask you to guess the tourist attraction. Hey? The beautiful Nelson Mandela Bay, can you spot the tourist attraction? Well, that'll come up through the evening as well. But here's the key thing. You need to make sure that you've got that QR code, your WhatsApp group ready, because we're going to show you a, an image of one of the tourist attractions around the bay, and you're going to have to answer on that WhatsApp group. First person is going to win a prize sponsored by that tourist attraction. So make sure you've got your phones ready to go. Fastest fingers first. And then, of course, we've got lucky draws coming up a little bit later on. If you have participated in any of the WhatsApp groups, then your name will automatically go into the pot, and you could be winning one of the lucky draw prizes a little bit later on in the evening. So chance to win, chance, chance to relax, chance to celebrate this evening. So over to our chairman, Quinton Levy. He's the Exporters Committee chairman. Of course, a qualified chartered accountant, senior manager in the external audit department at KPMG. He was elected onto the Exporters Committee back in 2008. In 2009, he already was the chairman. And he loves hockey, this man. He is the treasurer of EP Hockey Federation, and as well as at Alexander Road High School. He's the coach of the Utenag Ladies Premier Hockey Team. And of course, he's coach of the EP Ladies Country District Hockey Team as well. Welcome to the 26th Export of the Year function. We've invited some special guests here tonight, which we would like to acknowledge. From Nelson Mandela Bay Business Chamber, Denise Van Heistier. President of the Nelson Mandela Bay Business Chamber, Luisa Dokwana. Our Mayor, Mkalba Bango. NMB City Manager, Enelia Kalba. Also from the Municipality, Bumpu Jonas. From the Border Car Chamber, Lizelle Maurice. CEO of NARCAM, Renee Mutlia. From ECDC, Uyokazi Zozi. Also from ECDC, Pakumisa George. Trade Investment General Manager of BCM East London, Golelwa Majiza. NARCAM CEO, Michael Mabaza. From Transnet, Pepe Silingo. From ARDC, Tabo Sexwane. Wendy Lester. Unfortunately, during the year we lost her husband, Denzel Lester, to cancer. Denzel was an avid supporter of the organization and attended all 40 AGMs until this year. Condolences to you, Wendy, and the family. 
From NMB, Biz, a Composites Cluster, Andy Redford. From NMB, Maritime Island Cluster, Captain Faisal Sultan. Mr. Alan Corbett, my pre-seizing chairman. All judges for tonight, all entrants for tonight, committee members, past and present, all sponsors, all our members, particularly our diamond members, all protocol observed. We recently held our 41st AGM, and during the year, we had two of our key committee members resign during the year. Firstly, Jane Stevenson. Jane, we all miss you, and thanks for everything you did for the organization in your time as a vice chair of the organization. Then to Sujit Bagachi, we headed up the membership portfolio. Thanks for all you did in this portfolio. The following committee members were elected into various portfolios at the first committee meeting subsequent to the AGM. I was voting as my 11th year as chairman. Vice Chairman, Dion Yabao. He has been re-elected into a portfolio which he previously held on the committee. Treasurer and Head of Finance, Ravika Chetty. Anray Swatpo as Secretary, being new on the committee. Head of Membership, Leanne Varsi, who is also new on our committee. Marketing Communications, headed up by Neil Barker. Events, headed up by the Dame Mini. Congratulations to you all. As we see ourselves in the second year of facing the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, we would like to share a thought to all those who have lost family members, colleagues and friends to the pandemic. This pandemic has had wide-reaching effects on all of our lives. As an organisation, we've had to improvise as well and move to our online platforms for all our events, panel discussions, factory tours, and this is our second export of the year function, which is online. Over the year, we've also introduced an export forum and a collaboration forum. The export forum being a meeting where exporters can discuss challenges currently faced by exporters and come up to collaborative solutions on how we can address these. The collaboration forum being where exporters come together with the, the private sector and the public sector to discuss ways on how we can work together to make sure we come to common goals. We're also in the process of setting up the Emerging Development Forum being um, for all the graduates from the Export Development Program to help these guys become successful great, um, exporters. The effect of COVID has been felt through reduced global markets, reducing the demand for products from Eastern Cape, and in many cases shedding of jobs. Despite this, we've seen some very strong entries for exports of the year this year, with the highest number of entries since 2013. It is very positive to see the strategic innovation that our entrants have implemented over the last year in trying to grow their business, limit job losses, and look after the health and safety of the employees. The export industry has also faced several challenges, including port congestion, shortage of containers worldwide, and automotive industry facing the, the shortage of semiconductor chips globally. Transnet also recently hit by a cyber attack which has greatly impacted the throughput through the ports. We also find ourselves in a period of electricity supply instability and dire water shortage. Despite these challenges, the Eastern Cape still sees itself as a vital export destination globally with significant foreign investment. Unfortunately, the recent unrest and looting in the Krapting and Kazina area has raised concerns from foreign investors and it's hoped that it does not shed us in a negative light. Well done to all entrants and all winners for tonight. They're all well deserving. I would like to thank all our service providers for tonight. Firstly, Neil Barker and his team from Oracle Media for the online platform, as well as all the print and social media coverage for the event. Our entertainment for tonight, Frankie and the Misfits, Roland Gaspar and Letters from Jane. Jason Frasas from JMSVO for the voiceovers of the winners. Mandy from Heritage Framers for the frames for the certificates. Lede from LX Events for the project management of the event. And of course to Cezanne, our branch coordinator for all the hard work you've put in behind the scenes. I would also like to thank our sponsors for tonight. Our gold sponsors being Oracle Media and Volkswagen. Our silver sponsors being the Nelson Mandela Bay Business Chamber and Isuzu Motors. Our bronze sponsor, the IDC. Our blue sponsors, DG Capital and Estra Flex SA. 
There are three media sponsors, The Herald, Kingfisher FM, and MMR. And thanks to all our lucky draw prize players. Thank you and stay safe. Thank you, Quinton, the chairman of the Exporters Committee. Right, folks, we've been reminding you of these competitions that will be taking place this evening. And of course, very importantly, if you want to win that special lucky draw prize, you need to share your videos and photographs, perhaps where you are right now with your team on our Facebook page and make sure that you tag Exporters Eastern Cape and use the social media handle, hashtag Exporters EC 2021. Folks, thank you for sending in your photographs. We've got teams in boardrooms. We've got some people by themselves at home. Wherever you are, thank you for sending your photographs. And of course, get that WhatsApp number loaded through the QR code because after our first two categories, it'll be the first of our competitions. Remember, first person answering of course, could stand a chance to win that wonderful prize. And we would appreciate when you are WhatsApping, just to let us know who you are. We don't always necessarily have all your contact details loaded onto your WhatsApp account. Right, I'd like to introduce our speaker for this evening, Rene Mutalal. He's Executive Director of the National Association of Automotive Component and Allied Manufacturers, or NARCAM. He's also Chairperson of the South African Automotive Industry Export Council and a board member of Mercita. He holds a qualification of honors in BCom and cum laude in the MA Development Studies. He's recognized as an expert in the field of automotive sector development in South Africa. In leading NARCAM, Mutalal is respon responsible for driving engagements with government and other lead industry stakeholders and customers on issues that impact the automotive component subsector. He remains an advocate of increasing localization rates in South Africa's automotive value chain, as well as promoting the adoption of class-leading technologies and skills among the supplier base. Thank you, Renee. So, evening everyone. Uh, it's, it's a really big pleasure for me to, to be part of uh, the awards evening, albeit virtually. Uh, up front, thank you to, to Quentin and his team uh, at the East Cape uh, Exporters uh, Club and uh, I suppose congratulations to all of the nominees and awardees uh, of the evening. You guys are doing absolutely great stuff um, and uh, understandably so in, in the middle of uh, some of the bigger challenges that we've had, uh, I suppose not only in, in your region but uh, across the South African and, and, and wider global economy. So many of you know me, my name is Rene Motilal of uh, NARCAM, which is the Auto Component uh, Manufacturers Association in South Africa. Uh, and uh, interestingly enough, uh, several of our leading NARCAM members are also uh, senior in the structures of the, the East Cape exporters uh, space. And I think uh, central to all of the good work that's been done there. So I, I almost see this as uh, uh, areas of influence that are inextricably linked and, and always happy to support the activities of the export uh, club in, in the Eastern Cape. So I think just for me, uh, a, few, a few points uh, that, that are worth mentioning, especially in an auto's context. Uh, I'm sure we're all aware that 2020 had been a year full of challenges and none of us could could kind of uh, predict it when, when we started the year, but also a year that ended us or ended with us uh, operating in, in a level of normalcy that uh, kind, of, kind of just moved into 2021. And uh, we've got really uh, adept at that working through, and I'm, and I'm sure you guys know uh, specifically what the impact of of COVID-19 would have been on, on many of our businesses. I think the heartening thing, especially from an auto's perspective, um, uh, component exports out of South Africa, uh, and I think to a large extent, many of the companies in the Eastern Cape as well would have been part of this. Interestingly, uh, of, all of, of all of the auto segments, component exports were, were at a record last year. Uh, more than 54.5 billion rand worth of component exports uh, left our shores, uh, dominated by the catalytic converter industry, but still um, a really heartening number 
in the midst of all of the the other negatives that we saw for for uh, wider manufactured and, and and other automotive sectors uh, exported product. So component sector a bit of a shining light in our in our manufacturing space last year. Uh, first half of the year obviously being impacted uh, by by the COVID related shutdowns. But um, good recovery, I suppose, seen in, in the second half of the year, uh, Q3, Q4, uh, going into Q1 uh, 2021. And, and since then, um, good recovery. And I suppose, um, yeah, uh, probably a, a sector that, given the, the level of attention and support, uh, one that continues to, to, to fly the flag for the South African manufacturing sector. So with all of that, uh, definitely uh, positives coming out, but uh, 2021, uh, other than some of the, the recovery that we've seen uh, in, in the automotive sector, also brought its own kind of uh, challenges. Uh, uh, I'm sure many of us are aware of uh, some of the global supply chain uh, restrictions that, that continue to, to beset uh, our sector, uh, uh, many disruptions. Uh, we currently continue to deal with both the impact of different waves of, of COVID-19 uh, across, across the globe, uh, specifically in our sector, some of the challenges being experienced by uh, supply chains related to, to the semiconductor, uh, subsector, um, and of course, some of the other challenges that we've seen in South Africa recently, uh, uh, the violence, especially in KZM, uh, and, and to some extent, how tech negatively impacting us recently, uh, and, and the challenges that we see in the logistic network. Network. I'm sure many of you in the exporting space uh, would have would have kind of really uh, been frustrated to some extent by by the by the transnet. Uh, cyber attacks and the impacts on your business. Uh, so, so all in all, I, I think a bit of a mixed bag where we are at the moment. Uh, volumes have recovered at the early part of this year. Uh, we continue to deal with some of the, the challenges, but uh, I suppose again in that good South African uh, uh, kind of uh, context, we continue to uh, to fight the good fight. And again, uh, from from an RCAM perspective, and I think from a wider uh, a South African uh, uh, perspective, congratulations to all of those uh, who, who are doing good stuff in the export space and, and continue, to, uh, continue to, to progress. So yeah, as we, we going into, into the second half of the year and uh, uh, some of the, the, the COVID related challenges are still around us, uh, I wish you all well. Uh, keep safe, get vaxxed, and uh, let's let's look forward to a, a situation where uh, we we get back to the kind of interactions that we've all been used to. Uh, cheers. Uh, thank you to Rene Mutalal, the president of NARCAM, for that address. And of course, you'll see throughout the evening uh, little images and videos of our sponsors as well. So just to remind you once again, the QR code that's going to appear on your screen, if you haven't yet uh, scanned that QR code and signed up on the WhatsApp group, please make sure you do it now because after our first two categories, we're going to have our first competition and it's first hands first. So make sure that you are ready to go. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there's been so much work being put into this event. And as you can imagine, with all the entries, we need a formidable group of judges. And so this is the team that, have been, that has been put together. The judges for the SJM Flex Environmental Awards were Elmar Tiot from the AIDC, Antonia McMaster and Mark Mugatti from SJM. And then the independent judges for all of the other awards were Dr. Randall Jonas, the Nelson Mandela Bay Business School, Justin Rees from FNB, Sujit Bagachi from Transnet, 
Hussein Mohammed from the AIDC, Kingsley Dell Robertson from the IDC, Prince Matonzi from the Nelson Mandela Bay Business Chamber, and of course, Quinton Levy, the chairman of the Exporters Eastern Cape. Right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, our first award for the evening. It is the SJM Flex Environmental Practice Award. Now, this category is for exporters who have not achieved accreditation, but pursue activities towards ex environmental sustainability. The judges did not award any winners in this category. All right, so no winners in that category. We move over to category two, which is the SJM Flex Environmental Award. Now, this is for exporters who have environmental accreditation and who pursue excellence in environmental management. The first merit award goes to a company that has introduced air quality monitoring, water quality monitoring, stormwater management, wastewater management, alien vegetation management, noise control, heritage protection and management, landscaping and rehabilitation, problem animal control, open space management, and pollution prevention and management programs with the aim to reduce and mitigate the negative impacts on the environment. The first merit award for the SJM Environmental Award goes to Kucha Development Corporation. Second Merit Award in this category goes to a company undertaken several initiatives to reduce their carbon footprint, including the installation of bat boxes to reduce insect infestation without the use of pesticides, placing recycle bins at the entry points for employees to dispose of their domestic waste, and created five worm farm bins which generate compost which is used to fertilize the speckworm trees around the factory. The second merit award for the SJM Environmental Award goes to Pure M Port Elizabeth. The third merit award in this category goes to a company that has reduced water usage in operations by 50% through technological change, has dropped operating temperature by 15%, have seen significant reduction in utility costs through direct process change. They recycled 94% of the water generated with the remaining 6% of the waste is sent to Johannesburg for the alternate energy usage. The third merit award for the SJM Environmental Award goes to Isuzu Motors South Africa. This year, the award goes to a company who is ISO 14001 and ISO 50001 accredited. They have recovered over 4,400 meters cubed of water in the year through pretreatment. They recycle 95% of their waste. 7% of the electricity is generated from renewable sources, preventing over 4,200 tons of CO2 emissions. And they have been involved in numerous social upliftment programs across education, NGO support, stakeholder funding, and the provision of personal protective equipment and facilities as a response to the COVID-19 pandemic. The 2021 winner of the SJM Flex Environmental Award is Volkswagen Group South Africa.
So congratulations to the Volkswagen Group South Africa for winning the SJM Flex Environmental Awards. And you can see how much effort has been put into the environment with three merit awards. A Suzu Motors South Africa, Pure Import Elizabeth, and the Kucha Development Corporation. Right, let's take a short break from the awards. And I've been warning you about this moment, the WhatsApp competition. So get your phones ready because we are now going to ask you to guess the tourist attraction. So it's coming up shortly. Can you guess where this tourist attraction place is? Oh, I recognize that building, hey? Get your answer in quickly because the first person to get it right will be winning a voucher and a prize from this tourist attraction. So there we go. That was the first one. We'll announce the winner shortly. Right, time for us to get back to the awards. We've had our first two focusing on in the environment. We move across now to the IDC Job Creation Award. Now this category is for exporters who have created the most number of new sustainable jobs over the last year. The first merit award goes to the company that was founded in 1957 and manufacture automotive headlights, tail lights, secondary lights and plastic assemblies. Over the year, they increased their staff complement by 86 staff members. They spend 3.2% of their employment bill on skills development. The first merit award for the IDC Job Creation Award goes to Lumotech. The second merit award goes to the company that was founded in 2018 and assembled light commercial vehicles and commercial vehicles. Over the year, they increased their staff complement by 65 staff members. They spend 2.5% of the employment bill on skills development. The second merit award for the IDC Job Creation Award goes to Isuzu Motors South Africa. The third merit award goes to a software development company. Over the year, they increased their staff complement by 31%. They spent 1.5% of the employment bill on skills development. The third merit award for the IDC Job Creation Award goes to S4 Development Services. Fourth Merit Award goes to a vertically integrated poultry producer and distributor. Over the year, they increased their staff complement by 76 people. Despite the global food service coming to a complete standstill from April to September 2020, no staff were retrenched during this period. The Fourth Merit Award for the IDC Job Creation Award goes to Sovereign Foods. The winner of this award goes to a company who is an automotive component manufacturer and that employs over 420 permanent staff, creating 108 new positions over the last year. They spend just 3.2% of the employment bill on skills development. The 2021 winner of the IDC Job Creation Award is SMA Engineering South Africa.
Wow, congratulations to SMA Engineering South Africa, the winner of the IDC Job Creation Award. Folks, 108 new positions created in COVID year. Absolutely incredible. And well done to our Merit Award winners as well. Sovereign Foods, S4 Development Services, Isuzu Motors South Africa, and Limotech. What an incredible achievement. That was our third category. We move across now to category four. This is the best provider of services to exporters. Now, this is for service providers to the export industry, usually forwarding and clearing agents, shipping lines and agents, other forms of transport, including courier, insurance agents, underwriters, and financial service providers. The first Merit Award goes to the company who was a finalist in the New Gen Awards of the Medium Large Agency of the Year Award 2020 and the Top Graphic Designer of the Year Award 2020 and won the best use of podcasts and blogs to promote a brand or event award in 2020. They were also a finalist in the Top 20 National Small South Africa Business Awards in 2020 and the Rising Star Award 2020 Media and Marketing. They also won the Game Changers Marketing Award by Finance Monthly 2020. The first Merit Award for the best service provider of services to exporters for awards won and major achievement goes to Oracle Media. The second Merit Award goes to the company that was voted as the number one SEZ in Africa in terms of investment promotion and in the top seven in the world. Over the last year, they have an additional 12 investors signed who have pledged 719 million rand, which will create 8,306 cumulative operational jobs and 5,934 construction jobs. They have trained 6,591 in the last year. The second Merit Award for the best service provider of services to exporters for the new investors goes to Kucha Development Corporation. The award this year goes to a company that provides the distribution, rental and value added services for industrial and materials handling equipment and have been in operation for 35 years. Over 2020, their order intake grew by 31%, increasing their market share by 24%. Their win ratio increased by 14% and their participation ratio increased by 23%. Their major growth coming in the agriculture and motor industry. The 2021 winner of the best provider of service to exporters is Toyota Industrial Equipment. So congratulations, best provider of services to exporters for 2021, the Toyota Industrial Equipment and Merit Awards for the Kucha Development Corporation and Oracle Media. What a wonderful celebration of the work that's been done here in the Eastern Cape. Well, we'll take a short break from the awards. We'll get back to that in a moment. Now, earlier I asked you to guess the tourist attraction. And of course, the first one was... Berlin. So congratulations to Armand. Armand got it correct. So Armand winning for himself <clears throat> the uh, Berlin restaurant. Um, the voucher for two people valued at 500 Rand. Thank you Armand. Of course Ber uh, Berlin offering a unique refined dining experience in around Nelson Mandela Bay. Right time for us to guess the next tourist attraction. It's coming up on the screen shortly. Hope Radio. Truth Radio. 
your inspiration station. It's Kingfisher FM. You're tuned to local. Yes! It's the Spa Big Breakfast. Only on Kingfisher FM. Take a bite. Well, of course, you'll see all of our sponsors throughout the evening showcased on the screen as well. So a big thank you to Berlin, our first sponsor of our guest, the tourist attraction. And while I was losing my voice there, I hope you got the answer for the second one. Of course, the first person to answer correct will win that uh, wonderful tourist attraction and opportunity. So welcome back, folks, and uh, as you can see, one of our sponsors, Isuzu, show, showcasing a little video there. And a big thank you to Frankie and the Misfits. Where are these guys from? Cape Town? From P. Incredible. Kabeja has got the talent. Uh, absolutely incredible. So well done, and thank you to Frankie and the Misfits. A little bit more entertainment coming up a little bit later on. Now, folks, don't forget the QR code. It's on the screen. If you haven't yet scanned it, and make sure that you are part of the WhatsApp conversation. And thank you for the photos sending through. I saw Gideon from uh, S4 sending his, his dog sitting with him this evening <laughs> watching the video. So thanks for all those pictures uh, coming through. Right, it's time for us to move over to our next category. We've covered four. On to number five. It is the best exporter in the small business category. Now, this category is for direct and indirect exporters with an export turnover up to 25 million rand. The award this year goes to a company that performed tool making, spot welding, metal pressing, automotive harness manufacturing, and T-piece manufacturing and soldering. Over the last year, they increased their gross profit by 102% and their net profit before tax by 60%. Over the same period, they obtained a 5% market share of all wire harnesses exported from South Africa to the European Union and 23% market share exported to Poland. The 2021 winner of the best exporter small business is OPM Tooling Import and Export. So congratulations, the exporter of the year in the small business was OPM Tooling Import and Export. For direct and indirect exporters with the export turnover between 25 and 200 million rand. The award this year goes to a company that was founded in 1950. They manufacture automotive components and their products get exported to 12 countries around the world. Over the last year, they increased their direct and indirect export turnover by 24%. The 2021 winner of the Best Exporter Medium Enterprise is Acoustics Group. Medium Enterprise winner there was Acoustics Group. Congratulations to our winners. Right, let's take a break from that and let's get to our Name That Attraction winners. Um, our first one, of course, was the Berlin um, restaurant right here in Nelson Mandela Bay in Warmer. The second one that we put up there 
was the crisscross adventures out in the Addo region. I'm sure some of you have done some team building there. So the crisscross adventures, that was our second name, that attraction. And the winner is, if I can read Suzanne's handwriting, I think it's Renelle Marais. Congratulations, Renelle. We'll be in touch. You have won a eco quad bike tour for two to the value of a thousand rand. And crisscross adventures out in Addo, they offer tour canopies. They offer, of course, the local tours with the Addo Elephant Park. They've got game drives, Addo River safaris as well on the Sundays River. And that awesome quad biking, hiking, sandboarding, and the beach and mountain safari. So congratulations there to Renelle, the crisscross adventure. Right, fastest fingers, here we go. This is our third attraction in and around Nelson Mandela Bay. Can you guess this spot? Well, we're all familiar with these, but can you give me a, a more specific name? Oh, I see some of you already posting there. First person, of course, who gets it right will, of course, be winning a wonderful prize from this sponsor. So congratulations to Renelle. That was our third name that attraction. Right, it's time for us to go back into our awards, and we're on to category number seven. We've had our small and medium. Now we're talking corporate. Now this category is for direct and indirect exporters with an export turnover greater than 200 million rand. The first merit award goes to the company that manufacture automotive components. During 2020, that achieved zero lost time accidents for the 19th consecutive month. Over the last year, they increased capital expenditure by 15%, training costs by 248%, turnover by 58%, and profitability by 55%. The first merit award for the best exporter, Corporate for Improvement in Profitability, goes to Pure M Port Elizabeth. The second merit award goes to the company that was founded in 2009 and produce, purchase, pack and export citrus. Over the year, they increased production by 38%, increased food procurement by 16%, increased turnover by 57% and increased profitability by 818%. The second merit award for the best exporter corporate for improvement in profitability goes to San Miguel Fruit South Africa. The winner in this category goes to a company that manufactures automotive components. They export their products to BMW, VW, Daimler, Audi, Porsche, Aston Martin and Bentley. Over the year, they achieved a 32% increase in export turnover, increased their permanent staff by 108 and increased their capital investment by 64%. The 2021 winner of the best exporter, corporate, is SMA Engineering South Africa. Congratulations, the best exporter. It's the corporate category, and that is SMA Engineering South Africa. And of course, two merit awards there for Pure MPE and San Miguel Fruits as well. Congratulations to all of our winners. Category eight now, the best exporter OEM. This is a category for manufacturers of original equipment for the automotive industry. The recipient of the Merit Award in this category goes to a company that was founded in 2018 and mainly export to the African markets. They have achieved a level one triple BEE rating, 
The transformation initiatives have included active participation in the YES initiative, refurbishing the depleted house of an 80-year-old widow, and community engagement with Kwasakele community to improve awareness of waste management. The Merit Award for the Best Exporter, OEM, for their skills development and transformation initiatives goes to Isuzu Motors South Africa. The award in this category goes to a company that was founded in 1951 and started exporting in 1992. Over the last year, they exported the 200,000th unit of their current line, introduced six fully electrical vehicles to their network for testing, secured 5.3% market share in Kenya. They donated 150 beds to the COVID isolation facility at the Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium as well as making their 66,000 square meter Port Elizabeth plant available as a temporary medical facility with 1,485 beds. They won seven awards at the annual cars.co.za Consumer Awards and three awards at the Car Magazine Top 12 Best Buys Awards. The 2021 winner of the Best Exporter OEM is Volkswagen Group South Africa. So congratulations, the Volkswagen Group South Africa, they are the OEM Exporter of the Year, and a special mention there, a Merit Award for Isuzu Motors South Africa. So there we go, eight categories done, one more big one to come up a little bit later on. Right, time for me to announce the next winner of the guest, the tourist attraction around Nelson Mandela Bay, and this past one, of course, many of you would have said the pier, or something like Hobie Beach, or Nelson Mandela Bay was what we were looking for. So the fastest person for the Nelson Mandela Bay tourist attraction was Alan Barr. Congratulations, Alan. Although we will audit your entry. Um, congratulations, Alan. Thank you so much. Uh, you've won yourself a Nelson Mandela Bay day pass. In fact, three passes. It's at the value of 700 Rand each. And these incredible Nelson Mandela Bay passes give you a five-in-one pass to various attractions. Um, around our bay and activities that are advertised on the Nelson Mandela Bay tourism website. You can go to nmbt.co.za and you can be used any day within the next three month period. You can also qualify for shopping specials, transport discounts, and that's all available on the three month duration of the validity of that pass. So, Alan, we're watching your Facebook page eh, for attractions around Nelson Mandela Bay. Right, so that was our third guess, the tourist attraction. Here comes the fourth one. Can you tell us who offers these services in and around Nelson Mandela Bay? Ah, fastest fingers first, quickly get it in, because the first person to get it right, of course, will be winning um, the wonderful prize from this, our generous sponsors. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this evening would not be possible without an incredible group of people behind the scenes there, but more importantly, our sponsors. And a big thank you to them who've come on board once again to not only showcase businesses, but to keep supporting them, to say, keep on going, guys. So we'd like to say a very big thank you to the sponsors who've come on board to say business must continue in the Eastern Cape. This chamber is the largest voluntary business association in the Eastern Cape, and is also one of the most active chambers in the country. We have a strong and active board in place, which includes experienced individuals representing a broad spectrum of business sectors who are committed to the sustainability and growth of our local economy. The board's main role is to provide strategic direction. The Chamber team members in turn are responsible for implementing the Chamber strategy and providing value-adding services to our members. All right, folks, so still to look out for, of course, we've got that final, final attraction announcement winner. We've got those lucky draws coming up as well. And, of course, the announcement of the Exporter of the Year for 2021.
Well, thank you to Roland Gaspar for entertaining us this evening. Please go. He needs 99 likes, please. Go and, go and like him there. Right. Right, folks. Um, our last guest, the tourism spot around Nelson Mandela Bay was, of course, Reggie Charters. Congratulations to Jeremy Dobbin. He's won for himself a whale, penguin, and dolphin island a cruise for two people valued at 2,200 Rand. Reggae Charters, wow, what ambassadors of our city offering incredibly guided tours to see do dolphin, whale, and African penguin watching right here in Algoa Bay. Congratulations to all of our winners. I know some of you were questioning how they typed so quickly, but well done to all of our winners. We'll be in touch. Right, folks, so through this evening, if you've been contributing on WhatsApp or commenting, we've been taking your names and put them into our pot. And Suzanne's going to come up here with the pot. And this pot has got all your names in it, and it's our lucky draw prizes. Are oh, you drawing them already for me, huh? That's so <laughs> that's efficient. Thank you, Suzanne. <laughs> right, folks, thank you to all of those who've, uh, put, who've been contributing this evening. So our first lucky draw prize. Now, this one, if you remember earlier, I said, this is the prize for those of you who contributed on our Facebook page. All right. So if you tagged Exporters Eastern Cape and you use the hashtag Exporters EC2021. So this one is a Goldberg and de Villiers voucher plus a Love Box hamper. It's a thousand rand Warmer Park shopping voucher and journal. It's valued at 1200 rand and it's a hamper box to the value of 300 rand. So the person winning this this evening in the lucky draw is Kerry McLaughlin Ulrich. Congratulations, Kerry. We'll be in touch for you to get your lucky draw prize. Next up, I've got two from the uh, of our second lucky draw prizes. This is from the WhatsApp uh, contributions, and this is from Heritage Framers and the and a NutriTech pack as well. So it's two of these lucky draw prizes. So it's a 1,000 Rand framing voucher and a 1,500 Rand hamper. I could get used to this, Cezanne. And the first winner is Brendan Adrianson. Brendan Adrianson or Adrianson. And the second winner, ach oh, no, man, Kingsley Dell Robertson. Kingsley Dell Robertson. NutriPack coming your way, Kingsley. Well done. So those are our two winners in that lucky draw. But we do have one surprise lucky draw. Folks, from the Nasna Forest View, a two-night stay for six people valued at 6,000 Rand. Who's feeling lucky? All right. Suzanne. Is it? I don't know. No. No, it's what? Another? <laughs> okay. Well, it is one of our special guests, Captain Faisal Sultan. Congratulations, Captain Sultan. You have won this incredible getaway at the Nars Nasna Forest View. Thank you, Suzanne. So congratulations to our winners, and thank you everyone for contributing and sending your photographs of the evening. And of course, our Lucky Draw sponsors as well. Thank you for all that you guys have done for coming on board. Let's have a look at some of those that we've mentioned already this evening. So thank you to all that you've done. Thank you for your contribution to make this a very special evening for um, our guests. Right, ladies and gentlemen. We've had entertainment, we've had eight awards, we've had lucky draw prizes, and now it's time for the big announcement. The overall exporter of the year for 2021. Now, the entity that in the judge's opinion achieved the most success in the period that's under review. Now, the winner of the exporter of the year is one of the relevant category winners. The award this year goes to a company that started exporting in the 1990s and export indirectly to England, Spain, Japan, Germany, China, Switzerland, Australia, America, and North and Central Africa, and directly to Italy and France. They have achieved a level one triple BEE rating. They were awarded the Quality Achievement Award from Toyota South Africa, were accredited as an A-rated supplier from Volkswagen South Africa, received a Gold Category Award for export efficiency from the Composites Cluster, National Innovation Awards, and were recertified with the IATF 16949 and the ISO 14001 through NQA. In the past financial year, they acquired a company to form a new product line to diversify their business. The 2021 winner of Exporter of the Year is Acoustics Group.
So congratulations to the exporter of the year for 2021, the Acoustics Group. And I think we can all see the adaptability they've had to win this award. So congratulations. And congratulations to all of our winners. I want to say a big thank you to the amazing sponsors who've come on board to make this evening possible. A virtual event, I think with that band playing earlier, we all hope that next year we'll be dancing it out on the dance floor. So thank you to our sponsors who've come on board this year to make this happen. Of course, all of our winners, don't forget, we'll be in touch on Monday. Suzanne will be contacting you for live videos and photographs. Bring your team into that. Let's celebrate with, the, with them and all the hard work that they've put in. And of course, we will be handing over these amazing certificates and these trophies as well. I want to say thank you to all of the entertainers as well who've been uh, kept us laughing and dancing and enjoying ourselves here this evening. And these amazing prize sponsors, the generosity in these unusual times. Thank you to all of you for coming on board. And then the, behind you, where you can't see, is an amazing team making this event possible. I want to say thank you to LX Events for assisting with organizing this online event. And then thank you to Oracle Media for designing all of the artwork and organizing this online event platform. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for participating and have a blessed night.